Hey guys, it's Mickey Foley 5 and today I'm going to be doing a review on not a WWE figure, but a Star Wars figure. It's going to be a review on the Star Wars The Force Awakens First Order Stormtrooper. So this is taking one of the Stormtroopers from the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, that came out a few months ago. This figure actually came out like this figure actually came out like five or six months ago. I know it's kind of old, but I still want to do a review on it. I got this in my toy hunt that I did. I just didn't make a video on it for a while. And uh, yeah, so uh, right here you could see it comes with Star Wars Force Awakens. It comes with a I can't really tell from here, but it comes with one of it uh, a blaster rifle. Uh, blaster pistol comes as a stormtrooper himself, and uh, one of his vehicles. But we're gonna find out. And also in the back, right here, the Force Awakens, and it comes with um, it will it, it shows you that you can how you can connect it to another um, another one of the objects. And uh, yeah, if you wanna read that, this is just it in the back. So let's get this bad boy opened. So this is the Stormtrooper itself unboxed, and it comes with two accessories: this accessory and uh, this accessory. And I'll get, and it also comes with a manual uh, of how to set it up. I'll get into later. But let's first start it with the figure itself. First of all. The actual uh, detail of the head, the head scan, the face scan, looks like, based, well I saw the movie on the big screen and it looked just like this. It has perfect paint job done right. I don't see a single smudge, at least I don't see, there's a little dot over here but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's pretty highly detailed. Um, the body over here looks pretty good. It has the detail down of the lines of the stormtrooper himself. Um, over here it comes with a gun, a blaster, um, right there, I'll just put it over there. Um, over here is a sleek, and, uh, it's highly detailed, and it comes with a little thing in his back. Sorry, I don't know what that ca is called, but it looks pretty good. It's all highly detailed down here. Um, and, uh, yeah, and it comes with a little holder right there. And, uh, yeah, that's the figure right here and so far it's highly detailed and I don't see any uh, really any flaws of it so far these accessories are actually made for a combination and there's uh, combo ones that come with each mini Star Wars figure it tells you over here the combination thing and it's made to make this and these are two little parts of it by the way and uh, that's if you get more of these mini Star Wars figures you can make the whole th uh, thing and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Last but not least, I'm gonna check the articulation. So over here, boom, the head can move extremely smooth. The arms can't move this way, but can move perfectly. One 360 degree rotation. No, nothing wrong with it. This doesn't have any kneecap rotation or anything, but it can move over here on the flexors. Can move perfectly. It actually has. It's really smooth. It's not like a like bad at all it's not a single flaw of course it doesn't have every articulation over here but it, over here it's all good um these can't twist or anything but the head can and this can't twirl either but these can move um that's basically it for the articulation but for such a small figure uh this is actually a highly detailed figure i really like it um, the gun is even detailed, and it's literally less than an inch long. It's literally like a half an inch long. You can just put it in his hand over here. Sorry about that. His hand over here. And, um, it's especially for a minifigure. It's so detailed, and it has such good articulation. Not articulation everywhere, like a WWE Elite figures, but it's not made for that. But it does have, and the paint job is really good. I'm um, sorry this review isn't extremely uh, like my other ones. I wanted to make it a little bit more simple because it's a tiny action figure. Uh, I hope you don't mind that. So far, it's a really good figure, especially because it's not one of the big ones, and I hope you like this review. Now I'm going to get to the rating of this, of how I think about this figure. Combined with uh, the how small the figure is and how, with the accessory, the gun, little gun it comes with. Sorry, trying to sit it, stand it down. It really, I rate this figure from a zero to ten, being zero extremely crappy and ten being really good. I'd have to rate this figure a nine. 
like, I would rate it a 10 out of 10 if it was a big, like, big figure that, and it had this detail, but for the small figure it is, and the little gun it has, I'd rate it a 9 out of 10, 9.0 out of 10. It's just, look at this detail, I don't see a single flaw, there's not, like, any smudges. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked this review. Sorry it was a little bit more simple than my other ones. I wanted to make it a little more simple because it's a small little figure. And, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And, um, I'll maybe make more Star Wars figure reviews. Tell me in the comments if you like the Star Wars figure review. I'll do more, and I'll make it more detailed the review because if there'll be bigger Star Wars ones. And, uh, yeah, I might go on more Star Wars toy hunts or toy hunts in general. And, uh, yeah, if you really liked the video, like if you want me to do more Star Wars videos and Star Wars figure videos. Don't worry, I'll still do WWE ones. But either way, uh, bye guys, and I will see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to check out my drum and guitar channel. I'm going to be uploading drum and guitar videos. I uploaded some already, and uh, if you like drum and guitar, you might want to... Uh, watch it, and the link is in the description for uh, my drum and guitar channel, and uh, yeah, I hope you check it out.